Hello and welcome to this series of tutorials where we are going to develop an application using the C++ Juice framework. We are going to use Juice not only for our C++ backend handling audio, also for some Juice um, GUI elements. And we are using Juice Web View, combining inside our application a Python Flask server that is serving some GUI elements made using HTML, JavaScript, and CSS. So here we have our application. This part here is, is made using Juice C++, and this part here is made using HTML, JavaScript, and CSS using the Web Audio API. And there is a Python Flask server that is serving these GUI elements here. So this application basically combines two examples. We have this example here that comes from the Juice examples audio recording demo. That's this part here. And this part here comes from the examples from the web audio and it's the web audio basics. So what I did is to combine those two and we want to have some communication. So this GUI elements, it communicates with the C++ backend. The C++ backend communicates with these GUI elements here, as we are using the Juice web view. This GUI elements here communicates with the Python Flask and also communicates with the C++ backend. The idea is that when I press play here, the Web Audio API will start playing some files and this will trigger so that the Juice C++ backend starts recording. And if I press stop here, then it will also stop the recording. Or if I press record here, then the Juice C++ backend will start recording and the Web Audio API will start playing back something. And if I press here, it will stop the recording and it will also stop the playback. So, if I press here to play, now I'll press to stop. I am going to save this. And we see that it worked. And when I pressed here, it calls also this button press on my flask side here, and it prints playing. At the same time, on my C++ side, when I pressed here, it started recording, and it recorded in this file, recording wave. The quality is very bad of sound because I'm using the microphone from my notebook, and uh, the sound is being played on my TV that I'm using as a separate monitor. So it's just capturing the environment here in the room where I am. At the same time, if I press here the record, this was developed using the Juice framework, but now when I press record, it also will send something to start playing in my web audio API. It's all created using HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and I'm using the Web Audio API for handling the audio. So now if I press record, and if I press stop, so I stop and I can also save this recording. And we can see that we have a very, very powerful combination where we can use Juice we can use C++ Juice with the C++ backend, with some GUI elements made using Juice in C++, with some GUI elements using HTML, JavaScript, CSS, using the Web Audio API, and we also can use the Flask Python server. So we could do a lot of things, calling different functions, and there is a communication between these GUI elements with the C++ backend and from the C++ backend also to these GUI elements using HTML. In the next tutorial, we will first start looking at 
each example independently. We will make this example run separately. And then we will just make some modifications so we can combine the two in the same application. That's it for today, and I see you next time.